Luka is the first player ever to record a stat line of at least 60 points, 20 rebounds, and 10 assists within a game. The Mavs were down 9 points with 26.3 seconds left, a scenario in which NBA teams were 0 and 13,884 over the last 20 seasons. Let's break down how Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks literally pulled off a miracle. Before that, just 12.3% of you watching are subscribed, so subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. Also hit thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. So the Mavericks have won four in a row as of this recording. Christian Wood's playing a lot better as of late. The overall chemistry with this group is looking solid after a rocky start. Over the last three outings for Dallas, Luka is averaging 47.3 points, 12.7 boards, 9.7 dimes, and 2.3 steals per game on 61% shooting from the field and 40 8% shooting from distance. Film room breakdown on how Luca's doing that is coming up later on. First, we have to look at the once in a lifetime occurrence this past Tuesday night. Forcing OT in insane fashion, we're going to skip ahead to when Dallas is down 112 103 with 33.9 left, inbounding it on the opposite end. Wood controls it through two Nick defenders before getting it to Hardaway, who executes a DHO back to Wood, who laces the spot up three. Great effort from Powell on the inbounds right here to pressure Randall, and after Julius gets into Quentin Grimes, who's one of the Knicks' breakout players to be fair, Quentin reacts slowly right here and allows Luka and Powell to trap him deep in the backcourt for the jump ball, which Luka wins. Good job by Hardaway Jr. to deflect it back to Doncic and pop out for a three. Luka's forced to give it up under the solid pressure from quickly. Tim puts up a deep range bomb from about the logo but comes up short. Nevertheless, Luka out hustles quickly Robinson and Randall for the O board. The hand on his back that Emmanuel quickly puts on him gets him the and one, which he converts at the charity stripe. But what we're looking at is still an improbable situation as the Mavs are down three without the ball and under 20 seconds left. Smartly, instead of fouling Randall, Jason Kidd has his team trap Julius and force Miles McBride into an under pressure situation, but Miles is able to make one of two foul shots, extending New York's lead to four with 11 and a half seconds left. Solid defense from New York on the inbound, but this elusive fake dribble handoff from Dinwiddie gets both Miles and Quentin focused on Luka, which gives Spencer enough space for the pull up triple, making it a one point game. And now there's a legit chance for the impossible to take place. McBride maintains his poise and knocks down two foul shots. Dallas now has the chance to tie it with a three, but they have no timeouts and can't advance the ball. Thibodeau decides not to allow the Mavs a chance to tie it by sending Luka to the foul line. And another great chess move from Jason Kidd was subbing in JaVale McGee as Doncic makes the first but misses the second intentionally. The presence of JaVale gets tangled up with Mitchell Robinson, factoring Robinson out, before Christian hustles for the tap away. McBride and Grimes don't communicate on the glass and knock it away from each other. Lucas stays in the vicinity and while grabbing it in midair, flings home an off-balance runner to tie it up. This picture of the scoreboard change plus Luka and Coach Tibbs just says it all as give credit to not only Doncic but Christian Wood and Spencer Dinwiddie for knocking down massively clutch shots. Resembling the goat of the next generation of NBA players with his mix of skill, size, grace, and once-in-a-lifetime craftiness, Doncic is debatably the best player in the league right now. After fueling the Mavs into the conference finals last year by posting his third consecutive 31 plus point per game playoff average in the very first three playoff appearances of his career, Doncic is back for more in 22-23. For most of this year's first half of the season, the Mavs were disappointingly hovering around the 500 mark, but the film on Luka's recent production proves this man is ready to separate his Mavericks from the middle of the pack. Sequences like this one where he pushes the pace in transition, goes between the legs into a fake sweep through, which turns into two consecutive spin moves, display that Doncic is entering mid-season form. The fluidity in his game is just looking so damn polished right now, and combined with how he's mixing up kickout passes or lobs with that elite scoring, he's able to manipulate opposing game plans pretty much at will. Displaying that fluidity after Davis gets Westbrook switched off him, a shifty signature size up combo gets rookie Max Christie thinking drive, and the footwork, balance, wherewithal allow him to get enough space for the step back. Lethal shooting range. On consecutive pick and rolls early on against the Knicks, firstly in a Spain pick and roll, Luka goes in the opposite direction of this screening action to his offhand, and the handle, timing of his attack, and strength allow him to get downhill and body off Grimes. Secondly, in a normal pick and roll, 
This time he uses the Christian Wood screen and watched the IQ to go up into a runner after gaining a bit of space, before instead throwing it up extremely high over the outstretched arms of Robinson to get Wood the lob finish. Right here, matched up with the reputable Patrick Beverly in a late shot clock ISO, an aggressive stunt from Austin Reeves, and solid on-ball pressure from Pat Bev forced the miss, but the hustle from Doncic has been a lot better as of late, as he shows that off by following his shot and knocking it away from Beverly. In terms of how Luka reads the defense, as Kevin Durant alluded to, that wherewithal is on a video game-esque level, as after grabbing the aforementioned O board, even a slight underhanded pass fake to Wood gets both Beverly and Wenyan Gabriel looking backwards, giving him enough space for the lay-in. Given Luka's shot frequency from 0 to 3 feet has significantly increased in comparison to last year, defenses have been sagging off a ton as of late, as one hezzy dribble after getting it from Nilakina on the wing in transition gets Jabari Smith Jr. to bite, and Luka's 99 overall rated shooting off the dribble in traffic takes over. Next possession, Jabari goes under this ball screen, but Doncic notices that Jalen Green's more worried about him than Smith Jr. is, and credit to Dinwiddie for knocking down the catch and shoot as Green goes back to close out. Other guys need to make plays when Luka's trapped, and after a flashy behind the back from Doncic, which serves as a great read out of the blitz, Wood collects the outlet and hits the short jumper for the and one. Defending against another lob, this possession sees Mitchell Robinson play solid drop coverage as Grant sticks to Luka's hip. At this point, Robinson's thinking lob, but while 90% of creators would have kicked it out, Luka's aware himself that Robinson's thinking lob pass, rare among ball handlers, so even as Mitchell gets a hand up nicely to contest this attempt from Doncic, Luka knows he's going to have enough space, and the ability to float it over Robinson under all that pressure is the endlessly polished finesse coming in handy. Doncic is third just behind Embiid and Jokic, who are obviously monster centers, in points per game from the post. Here he calls for the ISO, transitions from the drive to the post, watch the grown man strength to take the rookie to school. Come on, man. I mean, come on, man. Come on, man. Make it money. Come on. Well, and pristinely floated over him. Decent on ball from Powell right here. More so opening up space, however, is the patented moving jab step from Doncic, which leads into a crossover and step back. Next attack after coming off the screen, he slightly fakes a drive on Hartenstein with his eye contact, instead zigzagging to the top of the key, baiting step back with a hezzy in between the legs momentum, and watch the instinctive finishing to hang past Jericho Sims. Randall forces him to pick up the dribble, and there's not much better defense he could have played under another well-timed attack from the bulky, well-conditioned Luka. That said, this isolation defense gets a bit exposed. Doncic snaps Randall's ankles with a couple high dribble momentum hezzies, and another moving jab step allows him to step back yet again. Before, he faked the rip-through move into a spin move. This time, he just rips through for the and one. 60 points, 21 rebounds, 10 assists would be a great stat line for a one-two punch to combine for, let alone an individual player to put up. It was just an unheard of performance from one of the best on earth, and the perseverance from Doncic as this team's leader to never let his head down with the maps down big and being able to keep his production steady when things didn't seem too bleak speaks to the great body language he's been displaying this year, but where does Luka rank among NBA players right now and why? Best answer down below in the comments gets next video shout out, and the top 5 commenters by March 21st earn free merchandise of their choosing. Today's shout out goes to Super Gia, who says Denver can be a top seed as long as they stay healthy, deep playoff run as long as they can stay healthy as well, my team to make it to the finals for the West and win a chip this year as long as the core can stay healthy. Great take from Gia, hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anyways, appreciate every answer, thanks for watching, have a good one.